When I was growing up, I really wanted a sailboat. But my parents were rock climbers, and we spent a lot of family vacations out in the desert. So a couple years ago, I decided to mix these two things from my childhood, and I built a land yacht. Uh, this is <laughs> a sailboat with wheels. It goes like 45 miles an hour, and it's a total blast. But I've always wanted to bring friends out with me, and I figured, you know, if we came out with just my boat, it wouldn't be that much fun. One of us would be sitting around waiting while the other sailed. So I decided to build a second one. Right now I'm headed over to Bayshore Metals to pick up the steel tubing I need to make the frame. They typically serve like construction workers, so they close real early. So I gotta catch them before they leave for the weekend. Hi there. How's it going? Good, how about you? Good. Two things I need here. Uh, one inch. Okay. Uh, point one two yeah, wall thickness. Yeah. So Eight feet of that. Pretty good. It'll be tall. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any way I can get you to cut it? Yeah, we can cut it. Okay. Uh, this is okay. 20 feet minimum mortar. Yeah. Okay, I'll take 20 feet of that then. I need a uh, round tube, two and a half inch, uh, point one two inch thick. I think that's about it. Stuff's heavy and big and oily. Time to get it to Noisebridge. So first things first, we need to build a chassis. And the main part of the chassis is the spine. It's the big tube that runs underneath from the front wheel to the back wheels, and it's what the mast connects into. And I'm using this really heavy, thick pipe. It's because there's a lot of twisting forces on the mast and the wheels. It's probably more than I need. Um, it'll make it a little bit heavier but at the end of the day, I'd rather just have it be super solid and not break. So, time to start cutting and welding here. going to be level and uh, that the wheel's going to fit and everything. So let me show you what I've done. So this right here, this line right here is my ground. And then just fitting the wheel like that and then fitting all these other pieces where they need to go. This is known angle here on this uh, 30 degree line like that. So that's going to sit there. This is, this is the point in the chassis where that steering tube comes out. And then uh, there's gonna be a piece here, not quite that long, and then another piece that goes up there. So like this will go here, and then that will go up there, and then there'll be an axle that goes down through the wheel. It sounds easy. Now it's time to cut everything out and try and weld it according to these angles and specs. We'll see, see how accurate I can get it. So, I think I screwed up. The front wheel isn't straight. I think I know what I did wrong. Uh, this front bracket here 
is not straight to the to the spine. So I think there's only one thing to do, as much as I don't want to do it, which is to cut it off and start over on that piece. Ugh. Well, it's not straight again. So I don't know. I give up. I think I'm just gonna roll with it as is and we'll hope for the best. It's time to put together some wheels. Rims. There we go there like that. Inner tubes. Sweet. This hitch pin is what holds the wheel on, so I gotta drill a hole for that in the axle. Just like that. Sweet. Oh, one down, two to go. Now to do the front end. This is gonna be a little tricky. I'm not quite sure how to do this, how to get everything lined up. We'll see here. Next, I need a place to put the mast. I need the mast step, which is the tube the mast goes into that holds it to the, to the uh, spine of the boat. And you can either put this at 10 degrees, kind of canted backwards, or you can put it vertical. And on my previous boat, I did 10 degrees and it made the back end a little fishtail-y. So I'm gonna try vertical and see how that goes. <laughs> Time to weld on the mast step. I gotta get this pretty much exact so the mass doesn't like lean one side or the other too far forward, too far back. So I'm gonna have to be careful on this one. I screwed up. So I used hot rolled steel for the, uh, the steering column. Uh, and for the axles. And hot rolled steel is a little bit bigger than what it's supposed to be. It's, it's got a little bit of mill scale on it. And so I turned it all on the lathe to get it to fit the, the bearings on the wheels and the, the washers that I'm using for bearings for the steering. But I didn't make the steering columns quite small enough for these bushings that I got to hold the steering in place. So everything's already welded together. It's all ready to go and these bushings don't fit. Ugh, 11th hour and I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to redo the whole front steering assembly because uh, I, can't, I can't figure out how to take this apart enough that I can get it back on the lathe. So not what I needed. Uh, we're supposed to leave tomorrow to go try these out and I uh, guess I'm gonna start over. Dang. Actually, maybe there's a way I can hack this. The square stock that the footrest fits on, I might be able to just use that as a collar and not worry about it. But I gotta get the drilled hole just perfect, so this can be a little tricky. I think that might work. It's worth a shot, if for no other reason than if I screw it up, I'm gonna have to start over anyway, so may as well give it a shot. Well, it's 10.30 at night, the day before we're supposed to leave to go sail these, but I think I'm pretty much done with the metal work. Check this out. So, 
That's the old one. And that's the shiny new one. They're pretty much identical. They're off the same plans. Uh, there's a few minor tweaks here and there. Next, I gotta build a seat. I gotta build a seat and I gotta rig all the masts and sails and stuff, so. I think I'm gonna go make sure masts fit and that kind of thing and then we'll figure out a seat here. All right, time to set up the masts now. The only place they fit in here is in the skylights. So the first time that I built a land yacht, I scored a huge treasure trove of free sails off Craigslist, free windsurfing sails. Got, let's see, one, two, three, five, six. I think I've got something like seven sails that I got for free. So I'm digging through them now to see what will work. Um, some of them are labeled, some of them aren't, so. So, I don't know how big this sail is, but I'm gonna compare it to the one I was using on the other boat and see if it'll work, if it's about the same size. These are pretty much the same size. I think this'll work. I've got one big piece left before we can hit the road and go sail this thing. I need to build a seat. And I think I'm just gonna copy the seat that I have on my previous land yacht, because we do, we just gotta hit the road here. I'm running out of time. So this is just basically like a pan. It's just a flat seat bed. There's a seat that comes up the back, bolts together in two places, pretty simple. not the right tool for the job. It'll work. Pull. I gotta find some screws now. Fortunately, they're a lot here. This actually might be a trick. Just need enough to hold the glue while it dries. Yep, it's gonna work. This project's beating me up. <laughs> I'm really sore. I forgot to do one thing before I uh, glued everything up. The old boat here has these rounded corners on the back, which looks super nice, but I totally forgot to do that before I glued everything. So I don't think this is gonna have those. I think we'll just wing it. Now it's time to build the back. Uh, so this is what the old back looks like. Sits in there like that. It's down here. Gonna do the same thing. Pretty straightforward. My friend Blake is here. He is going to come sailing with me and he's agreed to modify the sail. So, say hi, Blake. Hey. So. I just realized it wraps around the mast. I think that's, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, so let me show you what we're doing here. Okay, so. So I very like hastily just drew a line here. I think we should just, we should remove this back. I somehow get this up here in a way that you feel comfortable it's not going to rip off. Just basically, just, like just stitch that on. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Yep, I love it. Yeah, cool. Thank you. I will finish that seat and get everything else rigged and then we'll hit the road. Yeah. 
uh, and I left enough space down here to wrap it over. Not really enough space. Oh, sweet. And then the grommets, um, the like... The grommets right inside here. Perfect. Uh, so probably just gonna punch it yeah. whenever I'm ready. Yeah. And uh, do some more sewing around here. I'm gonna then adjust the sail sheath, yep. or the mast sheath thing, yep. and move it up. And uh, I guess touch it up on the edges. Sweet, um, okay. Yeah. One lesson I learned is turn it off when you're... Uh, you're sticking your fingers in there? Yeah, so I got this guy. Cut away, cut away from yourself. Yeah. Smart. Good lord, what am I doing? Look at this. Oh, we've got so much shit. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> we have a freight elevator filled with lamp yards. And it's like, mm, seven o'clock at night. We've got seven hours of driving ahead of us. It's gonna go great. All packed up and ready to go. Uh, Blake's picking up some tamales for the road and then we're gonna go get camping gear and get out of here. So we made it as far as Lancaster last night as of what, 2 a.m.? Yeah. Something like that. We finally decided to uh, stop and get a hotel for the night, which is probably one of the shittier Motel 6s I've ever been in. Yeah. <laughs> but it had... Better than sleeping on the cold ground now. Yeah, it was really cold last night. It was like 30. So yeah, we opted to wimp out and get a hotel. and try again this morning so it's like I don't know we're getting a late start it's almost noon but we're uh, we're close like half hour out maybe and uh, yeah it's looking like there's a little bit of wind just gotta find the lake entrance and pay our permit and we'll be off sail there's a big huge dust storm here that we're about to head into which <laughs> There's good things about the wind, but maybe will not be super pleasant. I don't know. We'll see. All right, here it is. That right there is the entrance to the dry lake bed. It's super windy. This is gonna be awesome. You ready? Yeah. So, <laughs> what I've learned the hard way is that when we get out on the lake bed, we should close all of the windows and doors because all of that dust out there will get in here. There are no speed limits out on the, uh, the dry lake bed. So we can go pretty much as fast as we want. There's not a lot to hit out here. It's just a question of like how comfortable we feel. I wish we could get some wind like this out in the bay on like yeah, right? with no All right. We're here and it's windy and I can't wait to get sailing. <laughs> Time to set up some boats. so hard for like the past week or two on this. I didn't know if we were gonna make it down here. So uh, it's really exciting to be out here. There's wind, gorgeous day. Can't wait to get out on the, the dry lake bed here. Trying to make it back to camp before it dies entirely. 
doing pretty well right now, but there have been spots where I've been pushing. Land sailing is all about momentum. You just gotta keep your momentum up no matter what and stay out of the ruts. Well, <laughs> we just ran out of wind. So now, instead of land yachts, they're skateboards. They're not great skateboards, but it does work. Going to pick up uh, Blake here. He's walking back instead of pushing back. Hey there, sailor. You want to ride? Uh, well, what about my boat? <laughs> Wait, is, is something broken? Or are you good? Huh? I'm good. Okay. It's just like hard to steer it. Oh, uh, yeah. You just sort of kick it as you go along. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. All right. Getting there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What'd you think? First time land sailing, right? Uh, pretty fun. I was surprised when there were no brakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just gotta like put your feet down or turn up into the wind and hope yeah. for the best. Yeah. There's lots of space. Sheet out. Yeah, sheet out. There's lots of space out here, so not too much to hit. Um, yeah, man. Thanks for coming down with me. Yeah, I know this is like a crazy adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Done at the last minute. It's been a long um, two days. Yeah. 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 We've, yeah, it was a lot to try and make this happen, but, uh, yeah, land sailing's one of my favorite weird pastimes, and uh, I'm really happy to be able to share it with someone else. So, yeah. Thanks for coming down. I'm Scotty with Strange Parts. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below, and stay tuned for more adventures. I'll see you next time. Yeah.